Okay, welcome back to the uh, to the world of the or the land of the Sharkies. Actually, can you call it a land if it's underwater? I guess there's there's still an underwater land. Um, I like the effects that they have going here. I didn't. I guess I didn't really notice it in the last video, but now that I kind of pause and look at it, I like the effects with the bubbles in the foreground. You can see those bubbles showing up now and then, and then the um, these um, rays of sunlight kind of breaking through the water. It looks that's actually quite a nice effect. So um, I've done no preparation at all for this video. So I oh there's a sharky. So I do worry a little bit that this video is going to um, be kind of awkward because um, I really have no idea where I'm going. It looks like this is one of those situations where you have to stay on a pretty predefined path if you don't want to uh, uh, if, if you don't want to get eaten by the sharkies wait what did I do now I can't remember didn't I try to catch some of those fish with the bottle last time and it didn't work because of you place the empty the fish don't see all right okay so we need okay you take we needed something to attract the fish, right? Okay. Um, oh, oh, that was a normal shark. Yeah, because bizarrely, sharks don't attack. It's just sharkies. Oh, I guess this is the left or the western. This underwater realm belongs to the sharkies. Oh, I think we already saw that. I guess. Uh, can I go down from here? No. It looks like there's a passage to the left. Hold on, let's let's see. Is the, I, this is the main entrance to the Sharkey's fortress? Judging by the looks of things, simply entering and grabbing the trident will not be as easy as you'd hoped. You get the feeling you should not dally here for any length of time. Yeah, I think that probably looks like a good, that look, looks like a good place to get away from quickly. Uh, let's see. So, oh, same screen. I just entered it from the other side. Duh. Um, so here, I was looking for any kind of random stuff that there might be, but I don't see anything around here, so it looks like there's nothing, nothing special around here. There's a sharky. I like how the music changes to kind of Jaws-type music when you see a sharky. Anyway, what's over here? This must be important since this is a little passageway. Yeah, you can't go up or down from here. This is just a little passageway that extends somewhere uh is it a dead end oh no it's the not the western wall is but an illusion you easily pass through it into a series of caves and tunnels on the other side it's pitch black in here you cannot see a thing you'll need to find some sort of light source before you are able to proceed i get it's it it's pitch black okay and that must be those um those green fish since they kind of have a luminescence to them so they must be the uh okay i get it so we need something that'll attract the fish um what do i have that might attract fish i really have no idea um oh oh dear you saw a sharky in the sea okay so I need to um, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do now because um, I wonder can I can I just get off the the seahorse and go back to uh, back to land and then come back here later? That would be nice if I could do that. Hold on, if I, I... I should probably draw a map, but I think this place is not really big enough to to warrant mapping it because it seems like there's nothing really very interesting or important in most of these places. I mean, there was that shipwreck where we got the, uh, the, the bottle from, but otherwise... Uh, and there are these f green fish, and obviously there's the sharky palace or whatever you want to call it that's to the to the west and the left side there but we'll have to we'll have to figure out what to do about that later yeah so there's this shipwreck but i don't think i can do much more with this you don't find 
Yeah, okay. So there's nothing else there really. Okay, and here there's uh, just a wall. This is where I came from, isn't it? You pledged to Neptune that you would recover his trident. You cannot return without it. See, if this were a Sierra game, at this point I would say, did I get myself stuck? Did I maybe get myself into a situation where I can't do any, go any further? But I was told that there are no dead ends in this game. I'm going to take that person at their word. Um, which means that whatever I need to find is probably down here somewhere. Can I do something with the sharks? There is nothing that you can... Yeah, I didn't really... There is nothing. Of course, now when I want to click on the shark, he's down there at the bottom of the screen. There is nothing. Okay, well, let's find a shark on another screen. But it's kind of moot. I don't think I can do anything with the shark. Risking your life. Oh, I did already try something like that. Can I? Oh, can I spear the shark with a with a? The shark is not paying you much notice. You would do best not to unnecessarily draw its attention. Did you I, can't. You did I try to do something like that before? I think I tried that that with a sharky, but not with a normal shark. The shark is showing no sign of predatory behavior towards you. Besides, your sword would not be the most effective weapon for use underwater. Yeah, I don't really have any underwater weapons, do I? Did I try wearing this uh, this necklace? Oh wait, it's very lovely. <laughs> That's nice. I think I think the game said it was too small for us. Um. Gosh, I don't really know what to do then because you give it a quick wipe. Okay, does it say that for everything? You give it. You give. Apparently so. You. Can I cheat and use the point and click interface cheat mechanism by just clicking everything on everything until something works? Nothing. 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 I mean, this is no. this is no. the classical no. sort of thing no. that people complain no. about no. in adventure games like this, where when you get stuck. You don't want to chop up your net, nor do you wish to have your sword tangled up in it. No need to catch that. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I think no. this is something that people have repeatedly Nuff, complained nuff. about with regard to adventure you games. Cut the lemon with your sword and watch the juice run out. Uh, really? It is a lemon. Its juice has a bitter taste. Uh, you cut the lemon. Oh, I thought that was maybe something you could do to get a dried lemon, but apparently it doesn't actually change anything. Nothing. Nothing. You wipe your sword with the cloth. Okay. The string would fray too easily if you did that. If I did what? You don't even know what I was trying to do. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. I don't know, man. Nothing. I, uh... Nothing. Nothing. I'm feeling Nothing. kind of Nothing. stuck now because, uh... Nothing. Okay, I think this is just a waste of time. But I mean, I, I really don't know what to do now because there's hardly anything here. I mean, like I said, we have only a, a handful of screens where there is anything, uh, where there is even anything to interact with. And, uh, and I think I've already done everything that I can with the, uh, well, okay. Let's see, what what can we put into the bottle? Is there anything we can put into the bottle? Can I put this in the bottle? Nothing. Okay. I mean, you. there's got to be something that I can put in the bottle no. since the game says the fish aren't interested in an empty no. bottle. That's obviously a hint that there has to be something no. in the bottle. But what can I... No. What can I put in the bottle? No. no. I mean, obviously some of this doesn't no make... Need to... So this doesn't make sense. Like, yeah, the, the fence picket wouldn't fit in the bottle, no. but I'm just clicking everything on the bottle. I don't really know, man. I don't, I don't know what to do now because... Uh, um, this dark green weed-like grass seems to have a saccharin content. Some small fish appear to be feeding on the plant. You need to get... Wait, is there something I can do with the plant? You lean over and pick some of the grass, which grows in between the rocks. Duh, I clicked on the fish, but not on the grass. Okay, so now we have... This dark, green, weed-like grass seems to have a saccharin content. You chew on the end of the grass. It tastes sweet. In case anybody's wondering what saccharin means, it's basically, as far as I know, it's basically a synonym for sweet, right? Okay, so can I put the the plant in the bottle? You stuff the okay. sugary grass into the empty bottle and push it all the way to the bottom. Okay, I get it. 
I understand. But why would the fish go into the bottle when they already have the plant here? It's like saying, it's like telling somebody who is eating a cake, Hey, look, I've got a cake over here. Don't you want to come and get this cake? Why, why would they leave the cake that they already have? to go to a different cake, unless it's a better cake. You, you could offer them a better cake, but this is not even a better plant. This is literally the very same plant that they're chewing on, so why would they... You place the baited bottle on the seabed, close to the luminescent fish. A few of the glowing fish are now swimming around inside the bottle. Okay, I could see that. A few fish. You take the bottle. I could see that because fish swim around kind of randomly, so I mean if they're just kind of swimming around and swimming around the plant, then maybe some of them will see the plants in the in the bottle and swim into the bottle. Um, so I, I guess maybe that makes a certain kind of sense. It is a clear bottle. Inside you see some glowing fish. They're bright and pretty. They're also pretty bright. Lol. Okay, um... Oh. I keep getting freaked out because I see these sharks and I think it's a sharky, even though they, they obviously look quite different, but I just, I don't really take the time to consider it very carefully. Um, so, wait, if I just keep going, oh, oh I, I skipped through that message by accident, but that's okay, we already saw it before. So, let's um, come down here, and I have the glowing fish in a bottle, so I'm going to assume that that's, that that is, wait, what is this thing here? Is that, this underwater realm, there's a blue thing, that this, un you can't be sure, but there seems to be something odd about this fish's swimming patterns. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't really know why, but there, I just get a feeling, there is nothing, something funny about that fish. There is nothing, there is, there is, there is, I guess I can't catch it with the... The fish is too fast and slippery for you to catch. Leave it be. What if I uh, use the net? Can I catch it with the net? Nothing. Nothing. The fish is not interested in anything you are carrying. Oh, really? You think I was trying to offer the net to the fish? You think I was saying, Hey, fishy, you want to have a net? You can carry it around with you and show it to your friends and family and, uh, and sell it for a good deal at the corner fishy market. Okay, well, anyway, um... Yeah. Glowing fish in a... I'm trying to think of a name that I can type that, that makes some kind of sense. Uh, got... I'm, I'm tired of typing save game names that just start with got something. That just seems so... so repetitive. But, okay, I have the glowing fish. The western wall is but a... Okay, here we go. Now we have the glowing fish so we can see. This looks this reminds me a lot of the cave from King's Quest 4. Just looking at these just the way that the the light surrounds us here and then the way that these rock formations look this reminds me a lot of that cave in King's Quest 4 where that stupid troll keeps showing up and clubbing you. Um <clears throat> Could I wait, could I go up from there or is just this just a linear cave? I don't seem to be able to go Yeah, or can I go up here? No, up here. Oh, no, that just takes me back out here. Okay, I don't seem to be able to uh, to go up or down in this area. I can just go left and right. Okay, let's just continue on then. Uh, can I? No, I still can't go down from... I can't go down here, can I? Don't think so. No, it doesn't look like it. All right, fine. So let's keep going left and... Oh, is this a maze? Really? Really, guys? Did you did you really do this? To, well... Okay, so far... To be fair, so far it's not really a maze because it's just linear. It's just going in one direction, but... Is this gonna turn it... Whoa, whoa, what, what is this? A large, opaque shell seemingly blocks a tunnel to the north. Whatever lies in that direction must be very important. Well, I guess that's a pretty strong hint. You can't budge the shell. Either it opens from the other side, or it's just plain stuck. Luckily, there's no secret password required to open this door. It is just very big and very heavy looking. Can I smash it up with my sword? 
You slide your blade through a small gap in the door and pull with all your might. It is difficult handling your weapon underwater, and you realize that combat will not be an option. So if it ever comes to that, you are in big trouble. As you open the door, ample light floods into the underwater cave, and you are now able to make your way around without the glowing fish. Okay. Should I get back on... Wait, can I... Should I just swim around by myself, or... Oh! Oh, my, what's this? Oh no, the seahorse has followed you. Let's hope it doesn't give your presence away. You are safely concealed behind the remnants of a stone archway. This is fortunate, as the king of the Sharkies is also here. Aside from his menacing appearance, he also seems to be in a very bad mood. I do not understand it. It should work for me. Is it not written the Trident's power can only be wielded by those of goodwill? Well, is it not? The King's aides nod fervently. And do I not possess the greatest will in this kingdom? No one can best me in battle. My resolve is unshakable. No amount of bleeding can dissuade me from slaughtering my enemies. Does this not signify that my will is the best there is? The Sharky King's aides seem all too willing to agree. Then why does it not work? You watch carefully as the Sharky King taps four shells in order around the arch. I'm going to guess that that sequence is significant. It matters not. Tomorrow we invade the Mer People's territory. For without the Trident's power, that old fool Neptune and his weakling followers will fall before our might. Goodwill. Ha! Mine is superior to all. As he leaves, the Sharky King motions for his guards to remain. Um... I can't even type room. Sharky throne row. Row, row, row. Your boat gently down the stream. Just, let Don't me just... leave yet, Graham. <clears throat> you have not yet reclaimed the trident. Yeah. Okay, so I need to do something here. Hold on, let me just quickly... Let me restore back here for just a second, because I just want to see what happens... If I go on and don't enter that room, um, was there anything else? Because I know I noticed the shell obviously in the background and used the sword on it, but is there anything else down here? If I go past the shell, would I have seen anything else, or am I really just? Uh, is there anything? Oh, that it looks like that was the end. Yeah, this is the end of the path here anyway, so actually there wasn't really anything else left to be done. Okay, the other thing I want to try, I'm curious now, can I ride you the, can, uh... You need to move... Yeah, okay. Can I ride the seahorse inside? Because I did obviously you swim sw myself inside, As but the, the seahorse followed me anyway, so can I get back on the seahorse and then ride... Remount. Yeah, I remount him, and then can I ride him in you here? think it wise to dismount before proceeding any further. Okay, that's just... That's just silly adventure game logic. That's just the adventure game saying it's it's wise to dismount for no for no good reason. Am I going to have to go through this? Oh no. You are is it no. Okay, I can I can skip through this. Okay, that's fine. You wa Fortunate that he didn't see us here, but okay. Anyway, um, so hold on. Let me just. Did I? I don't think I did anything special. Yeah, I, did, I didn't do anything special between. Yeah, I, there wasn't really anything special to do, but I just wanted to make sure. All right, let's take a look around here. Apparently, Graham can see quite a bit, even though he's supposedly hidden behind this wall. Two formidable sharkies are guarding the treasury. The throne is not actually a seat, since the Sharky King would not sit in it as such. Sit on it, Sharky. 
The remains of human bones litter the throne room. Your stomach churns as you realize they probably belong to the crew of the sunken vessel that you searched earlier. And the game knows that we must have searched the vessel since we wouldn't be here if we hadn't taken the bottle to use the fish to get here, so yeah. The ruins of once grand stone arches lie half submerged in the sand. It would seem that all attempts at decorating have had the sole aim of enticing the citizens to take up arms. There is a door on the right side of the throne room. Shells surround its arch, and the door is currently closed. This must be the Sharky King's treasury. The guards have noticed you. Did you expect to just float by unnoticed? There are some intelligent guards out there. Actually, I don't think that requires very much intelligence to see something. I think even, uh... I think even relatively dumb creatures are capable of seeing moving objects. Anyway. This throne room is cluttered with the remnants of countless pillagings and plunderings. It reminds you of an underwater pirate's lair. It's obvious that the Sharky King clearly wishes to express his love of war to all his guests, aides, and victims. I kind of feel like this is a bit, um... I don't know, I'm kind of tired of these black and white things where the villains are always just bad and they're so obviously portrayed in such an evil way and then the good people are portrayed as such good, uh, you know, such uniformly good people. There's not really much room for gray areas, but I guess it is kind of a... I don't know, is this considered a kid's game or a family game? I guess in family games it's supposed to be that way since children supposedly don't have a strong sense of morality. They maybe understand right and wrong, but they don't understand shades of gray, allegedly. This throat. Yeah. This throat. All right. Um, can I chat with these sharkies here? They would love to talk to you. Yeah, we saw that message before. We can't attack them with our sword, I guess. Okay, we can try. I'm gonna guess the this. Guards have noticed you. I'm gonna guess this won't go well. Your experience in underwater combat is lacking. You are easy prey for the Sharkies. Perhaps discretion is the better part of raiding a treasury? All right, let's see. What else can we use? Use a lemon to make them even more sour. This guard would not be... All right. Um, can I get back on my seahorse? Having an idea, you approach your somewhat reluctant steed and slap him hard on the back. Uh, what? Look at him go. The guards are momentarily distracted. Now is your chance. Okay, and let me guess. Yeah, I need to know the code. Oh, what if I click on skip? Oh, the game lets you skip in case you were too inattentive to notice what... Uh... All right. Well, I don't remember the code, and this video is already uh, just hitting 23 minutes, so I'll tell you what, I'll um, I'll go ahead and go back and write down the code and then do this properly, because I'm guessing you probably get more points if you do it that way. It's nice that the game lets you, it's nice that the game lets you skip, because otherwise that would be quite silly if you had to really um, click on the, on these tiles in the order that the king hit them, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it properly, and uh, we can pick this up next time. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming along with me on this uh, extreme underwater adventure, uh, where we spent most of the most of the video just wandering back and forth across uniform, dark backgrounds. But maybe next time it will be more exciting. Who knows? We'll find out next time in King's Quest II. Until then, ta-ta, everyone, and uh, don't let the sharkies get you.